Personalisation, trendy looks and affordable running costs are the main criteria for the success of a super mini these days. So look no further than the new Renault Clio. There's seven different colours to choose from, various stickers and interior trim options to make yours look different from the next one on the street. On top of that, Renault's latest offering bravely goes for make or break with bold styling features, including the gloss black side detailing, which gives the illusion of a narrower body, despite actually being both wider and longer than its predecessor. Another brave move was getting rid of the three-door and offering the new Clio in just a five-door. However, unlike a traditional five-door, the door handles are disguised in the C-pillar, giving a sporty three-door profile whilst still maintaining the practicality you get with those extra two doors. Good news is this boot is bigger and with the seats down, It is one of, if not the biggest in class, so when you're going on those romantic camping trips to the Lake District, all of your stuff can fit in here. But don't argue about who's going to control this 7-inch touchscreen, which comes standard in Dynamic models and includes sat-nav and climate control. You can upgrade to the Arling for £450, which has a whole host of personalisation because you can download apps for it. My favourite one being the engine noises, which sounds through the four-speaker system. That saves your lungs impersonating a V8, doesn't it? However, there are arguably more useful ones, such as live traffic up updates and don't think that you're going to be shortchanged if you go for the entry level model because even that comes with Bluetooth and cruise control and with that in mind let's get to some driving and thanks to reach and rake as well as plenty of adjustment in the seat I can get into a comfortable position to do so but before you see those shots I want you to watch a quick medley of the storage. The pedals and steering are light and the suspension provides a comfortable ride. Mum and Dad will be happy because all models come with safety equipment such as ESC, ABS and emergency brake assist. Not to mention it scored the maximum five stars in the Euro NCAP crash tests. This next bit requires a little bit of thinking, so stay with me. We need to talk about engine choice and economy, so think about what sort of driving you're going to be doing, combine that with a little bit of maths and your annual mileage and there should be a Clio to suit your needs. The one that we're in today has been fitted with a 0.9 litre three-cylinder petrol engine and that returns an impressive 62.8 mpg. If you go for the Eco Pack, that's £250 and it reduces your fuel consumption and makes the emissions low enough for it to be road tax free. However, there is also a diesel which apparently returns a mightily impressive 88.3 mpg. Just to add some confusion to the mix, there is also a less powered and thirstier 1.2 litre petrol engine. But it's a thousand pounds cheaper, so get your calculator out and work out which one best suits your annual mileage. One thing that is for sure though, is no matter which one you go for, it will be affordable and cheap to run. Now though, it's time to talk about the car's downsides. If you were considering that diddy little petrol engine, then listen up, because the power delivery can be a little bit jerky. And on motorways, it feels quite sluggish because it lacks that mid-range acceleration that the diesel offers. And as for that comfy suspension, well, it has a trade-off and it does have a tendency to roll a little bit in the corners. And with such a stylish exterior and abundant use of gloss black, I am heavily disappointed with some of the interior. Firstly, the glove box 
is tiny. Secondly, some of the buttons and switches Renault have not updated in years. It is time to do something about that to keep it in line with the likes of the Volkswagen Polo. This audio remote control, for example, I remember that in Renault's from the 90s. And as for this electric window control, well, that hasn't changed for years either. Then there's the space in the back. It was promising with its larger dimensions, however there is more room in the back of a Ford Fiesta and if you're six foot tall you will find that because of the way it's been designed your eyes are at level with the bottom of the roof line which makes it feel even more cramped. However, let's not hold these points against it too strongly. If it's fast cornering and lots of horsepower that you're after, then you're going to have to wait until the Renault Sport version comes out. Overall, they've done a really good job of offering a trendy super mini to the market, which has loads of personalization and is affordable to buy and run.